he found a company that has a motivated seller and it's a great company. It's been around 30 years. It's really profitable. It's thrown off 500,000 SDE every month. But what if uh, raising equity for that down payment doesn't make sense? What about uh, raising debt through traditional non-SBA? What does that look like? Yeah. So that one just looks like just focusing on the financials um, as always. Um, but it's much, it can be really quick. The only difference overall is that the, the debt lenders, they're very checkboxy, we say. So then they, whenever they say something, you don't do something that they don't say. Uh, there's no flexibility. There's no, like, there are very few opinions. And it's really credit driven. Um, you know, it's really credit driven. And so, so the point is, you want to make sure you have good credit, you repair your credit if it's not repaired. Um, and then you want to make sure you do some good cash flow analysis to make sure that the debt coverage ratios of the deal and then the valuation of the deal, you know, you have multiple opinions on this uh, and you just focus on the quality of the deal because the problem with getting too much debt, the other problem is that look at the market that we're in. Now the interest rates are higher. You know, the, the, the thing is like the, the amount of margin that the deal needs to survive, it gets less because the interest rates are higher. So it can kill the life of the deal. And when the market gets competitive in a sector, you have to think like, yeah, it's, yeah, I bought a deal, but then we just had a call of somebody. They bought a deal, but then now it's like it's negative EBITDA and such because the market got more competitive. They're new buyers. The manager is, is getting out of the company. And then you actually have to run the business for it to be profitable, right? Yeah. So, you know, just be careful when it comes. So just be conservative. And maybe sometimes if it doesn't make sense, just pre-qualify the deals until they can actually handle um you know, have a good valuation and debt coverage ratio uh, before or you, you take on and their seller carry before you take on too much debt. Uh, you know, so that's why I recommend instead, don't be in a scarcity mindset, right? Yeah, as long as you have many deals that you can talk to, you don't have to suffer with a bad deal that wouldn't be but be profitable. Then what's the point of you owning a negative, uh, a cash eating asset, right? Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you're a subscriber by clicking on this button right here down below. And if you want to watch more Serial Acquire interviews, click on this button right here. If you're ready to buy your first business, get my course at dealflowsystem.net right here. Take care. Cheers, John.